Hey, this is Angela Brooks. And if you are on LinkedIn, you may or may not know that there is a section where you can set up your own events. Um, setting up events on social media and being able to share it with your team or with a group or whatever is kind of important. And you need to be able to have a place to tell other people about it. So what we're going to do is I'm on my home screen. I'm going to scroll down and right here where it says events, this plus sign, we're going to click that. The first thing you'd want to do, of course, is add an image, a logo, or a banner about your event. Um, and if you don't have one of these, you can go into Canva and make them really easy. Of course, the organizer is going to be listed here. Should be you. The details of this is going to be the event name. Uh, and also notice that these asterisks right here are the ones that have to be filled out before it will save. Of course, your time zone when it starts, when it ends, description, who are your speakers? And if they're on LinkedIn, this should be able to tag them up so that they're connected to the event. Whether it's a public or a private event, if it's public, it will be searchable on LinkedIn and Google. And if it's private, of course, it'll only be to people who have the actual link. Um, you can use a LinkedIn registration form so that um, you can put your own company policies and things in there. Whether this is an online event or if it's an in-person, if it's online, of course, you just put your registration link, broadcast link. Um, if you're using whatever platform that you're recording, a Zoom link or whatever. If not, then here would be the place that you would put the street address and um, the registration link for that. Let me... And another thing, when you're doing your location, if you're using an address for a live in-person event, keep in mind that Microsoft owns LinkedIn and Bing Maps. So instead of going to Google and getting a link to the actual place, go to Bing. Since LinkedIn owns them, that is a place that you want to connect and they will share your event if it's public um, more readily. And since they are connected, you want to use their platform. The last thing, I know this is super boring and nobody ever wants to read these, but if you're doing an in-person event, LinkedIn does not want to be responsible for your event at all. And don't use LinkedIn's logo, none of that. Just jot down through here, um, read the do's and don'ts, professional community. It's kind of long, but it's not bad. It's not a bad read. Just give it a uh, once over so that you can say that you've read it and that you know what their rules and things are. So again, if you have not used events, it is right here. And if you and I are not connected on LinkedIn, make sure that you come over to my profile and hit the connect button and I will see you on LinkedIn.